Welcome to our look at areas of plane shapes. We hope to cover a whole lot of points, including what is area, units of area, areas of rectangles, triangles, parallelograms, kites, trapezium, circles, sectors, and composite shapes. First up, it's useful to have a definition of what area is. An area is basically how much space a shape occupies. The units of area we use, it's two-dimensional. Area is two-dimensional, so we have units squared, which is also often called square units. So here's some examples. A centimetre by centimetre is a centimetre squared. A metre squared, a kilometre squared. This is obviously not to scale. Now another unit of measure for large areas is hectares, and basically a hectare is 100 metres by 100 metres square. So here's four zeros, so that would be 10,000 square metres in a hectare. Now as we kick off our look at common formulas for area, we start with the rectangle. In this case you can see we've got eight lots of 12 squares. So in total we have 96 square units. And in actual fact, we know that the area of a rectangle is given by length by breadth. Now we move into area of a triangle, and we can see here that the orange rectangle is half the area of the same the rectangle with the same base and height. This is actually the case here as well. If we cut this up, you can see this uh, orange bit would be the same size as the grey, this orange bit would be the same size as grey. So in other words, this grey triangle is taking up half the area of the rectangle with the same height and breadth. We end up with area for any triangle is half the base times the height. Remember the height is the perpendicular height to the base. It's interesting to note with triangles here, all these triangles actually have the same area. Okay, so in these three at the bottom, they all have still got area equals half times base times height. So the height is always perpendicular to what the base, that baseline. When we come to looking at the area of a parallelogram, this uh, will give you a bit of an idea how the formula is built. Basically, if we cut off this little bit at the end here, all right, we cut it out, and if we moved it in the other end, you'd see we end up with a rectangle okay, with the same base length and the same height. So the area for a parallelogram is area equals base times height, where height is the perpendicular height to the base. The formula for the area of a kite can easily be seen if we cut this up into bits. Then if we rearrange the orange bits to fit in here, you'd see we end up with a rectangle that's got the same height as the original kite, but its width is half of the diagonal of that kite. So the area for any kite is area equals half xy, where x and y are the diagonals of the kite. For area of a trapezium, we can cut off that little bit and slide it in here. This is a simple trapezium. Okay, you can see we end up with a rectangle. Or for a little bit more complicated one, you can see the same process. We cut that triangle off the end, cut that triangle off the end, and when we rearrange it, we end up with a new rectangle, the same height as the original trapezium, but the width of the rectangle is halfway between A and B. So we say it is half A plus B. So you can see here the area ends up being half of A plus B times the height, which is often also written as area equals H on 2 A plus B. When it comes to areas of circles, you've got to remember the formula. There's no way around it. You've got to remember pi times R squared, where R is the radius of the circle. So for this circle, we have a radius of 3.2 millimetres. So our area ends up being pi times 3.2 squared. So when we put into our calculator, we end up with 32.17 millimetres squared, correct to two decimal places. 
with working out the area of sectors, it's just helpful to think what fraction of the full circle are we talking about. So here we're talking about a quarter of the circle, while here we're talking of 120 degrees, which is one third of the full circle. So calculating the area of this first one, we get area is a quarter of the full circle. And the full circle's got radius 5 here, so it's a quarter pi times 5 squared, which ends up 19.6, correct to one decimal place. In the second one, we can see it's a third, and that's because it was 120 degrees out of the 360, so it's a third times pi times radius squared, and we end up with 16.76 centimetres squared to two decimal places. So basically what we're doing in finding the area of a sector, all right, it's a fraction of the full circle. So in this case, 120 went in there, 120 over 360. In this case, 90 went in there. 90 over 360 is a quarter. So it's a fraction times the area of a full circle. When it comes to composite shapes, we basically just find the area of each bit and add them together. So here we're going to find the area of the semicircle and the area of the rectangle. The radius of this semicircle is 6, so we go half times pi times 6 squared, and the rectangle is 12 by 9. And when we calculate it out, we end up with 164.5 meters squared. We often also have areas that are made up by uh, composite shapes with a bit of a cutout as well. Okay, so in this case you can see we've got a rectangle plus a triangle take away a quarter circle. And in ways of actual calculations to this, the rectangle here is 13 by 15. The triangle has base of 15 and height of 5, so it's half times base times height. And the semi or the quarter circle is a quarter of a full circle, quarter pi times 6 squared. When we calculate it out, we end up with 204.2 centimetres squared, correct, to, to one decimal place. Woohoo!